There has been another huge burst of absolutely amazing AI tools that have come to the market and I'm going to share them with you guys today. So I did a video like this ages ago now and since then a number of new AI tools have popped up that are infinitely better than ChatGPT if you're looking to create presentations, write great academic work or just even use it for general personal use. So in today's video I'm going to go through, I think I have five or I have six, six AI tools that you need to know about that you probably don't already know about so let's just get straight into it. So the first one is Pop. AI. Now Pop AI is one that popped on my <laughs> for you page at some point and it's actually really cool. So you, you are able to make a number of different uh, documents, you can create a presentation um, from some slides that you have, you can create images from AI, you can, there's templates for like essay writing, writing a CV, so many different tools that you can use and I, I haven't even tried all of them, I've just tried a couple of them. You can make flowcharts, even do things like SEO, blogs, etc. But this is the one that I thought was so cool. So AI presentation, so this one, so you enter the topic, so you can say like I want 15 pages presentation, regular word amount, let's just say, let's leave it as it is, general audience, but you can choose what audience you want. Um, again, general, basic source, again, let's just say general. Um, my topic is, let's just say, the impact of global warming um, on polar bears. <laughs> Why not? And you can even upload references if you want, but I'm just gonna go with the basic just to demonstrate today. Okay, so as you can see, it's searching the web and it's thinking about the information and now the content is being pulled out. So you can see there's three sections, polar bear habitat and climate change, effects on the population, uh, mitigation and conservation efforts, and all the information is coming up. So this is just AI searching for the information, which is super cool. We haven't even got to the presentation bit yet, it's just generating an outline for you so far and then it's going to ask if you're okay with this information because of course you might think actually it's not exactly what I want and you can redo it but let's just say um, I'm okay with this I'm good with this I can then click on create presentation and this is where the magic happens okay so you can see here it's already absolutely beautiful this would have taken me possibly days <laughs> to create do the research and everything so you can really see how much detail there is um, and you can also change the themes change like what images you use um, I don't have the pro plan I'm not paying for the pro plan so if you have the pro plan you obviously have a lot more capability so let's take a look at the slides a great <laughs> first image I think perfect it's exactly what I want contents page Section one, you've got some information. I think it's a great amount of writing as well. Um, nice, diff like different sort of uh, slide uh, layouts, which I think is great. You can change, like I said, you can choose the gallery, choose where you want the images to come from, change the font, all sorts, and then you can actually present it. So I think this is an absolutely amazing tool. They, like I said, have other capabilities as well, so go and check it out. But even if it was just this, I think this is fantastic. Okay, so the next one is called Gemini, and I think I've spoken about Bard before, which is Google's AI uh, search engine slash tool, but they've now rebranded and it's now Gemini. So this is Gemini, I think it looks really sleek. It's an alternative to ChatGPT, it's that kind of vibe where you ask a question and you get information from the internet. Um, but I, I think some people prefer one or the other. I haven't used Gemini as much as I use ChatGPT just because I'm used to ChatGPT but there's so much that you can do. Um, I am living in Dubai and want a three day, let's say I'm traveling to Dubai and I want a three day itinerary for myself and, and two toddlers. Um, I want to do some indoor and outdoor nature activities. Okay, so I'm doing something quite personal here because I think I usually use AI tools for scientific 
research, work, writing, but AI actually can be used quite well for things like this. So <laughs> this is really good. Okay, so day one, exploring Dubai's culture and history. So it's given me uh, some information. I actually really want to come here uh, and go and visit the uh, Museum of the Future. The afternoon, take the wooden boat. Ooh, this is a, the kind of day that I actually kind of enjoy. Um, then day two, go to the water park, okay. Escape the heat, so it knows where I am, it knows what time of year it is, that's fantastic. And then in the evening, go and watch the fountain show. So I've said that I'm a tourist, and it's obviously given me quite touristy things, but I can obviously say avoid crowded places, I can give as much detail as I possibly want. Day three, touch of nature, the miracle garden, okay. Oh, the safari, I actually haven't, again, have not been there to buy more, okay. It, like, you know, I can say, don't give me the Dubai Mall, don't give me certain places. There's so much more to see than this, but it's just given me a nice three day itinerary for someone that's come here for the first time with two toddlers. So I think it's quite family friendly what they've actually suggested, but there's so many things that you can do um, using Gemini. Uh, there's code, you can mess around with code, you can do stats, you can ask it to draw you like a flow diagram, things like that. And I think it's a fantastic alternative to ChatGPT. Okay, so the next one is one that I think you'll probably find quite helpful. If you're someone that likes to make audio notes or if you're someone that just thinks out loud. So this is an app uh, website tool <laughs> that converts voice notes into text. So I think this is really useful. I actually used to record my supervisor when we had meetings <laughs> without him knowing, sorry. <laughs> because he'd say so much information in one hour, like, so much information would come out of his mouth in one hour that is so valuable and I just sometimes needed a moment to think about it and I said if I don't record him then I won't be able to capture that information and go back to it later so something like this would be so cool because if I had that one hour session recorded I can convert it to text we're using AI, so this is a, a way that you can do it. So all you want, to, all you have to do is record, and it has such amazing reviews. Like these are all the reviews. People are saying this is probably the best product I've come across in the past eighteen months, um, and it's something really, really simple. So it's just a matter of you taking notes via audio, and then it converts automatically to text. And it's also the number one product of in Product Hunt, which is a website where people that launch startups or, or tools um, launch and kind of like share their product and then reviewers and the public will rate it and it's quite a good way of getting a quite genuine and honest reviews on your product so that's a good sign if it's product number one. Okay so the next tool is one called Sci Summary and as the name says it summarizes scientific papers so it uses AI to summarize scientific articles in seconds so I think this is quite useful again so here they're comparing Sci Summary to ChatGPT so you can actually upload a paper to ChatGPT and ask it to summarize a document and it's given some information whereas here which is its own example it's given a lot more detail it has pulled out keywords for you and given other examples too um, using other research papers and the way that they're selling it is if ChatGPT had a PhD which I think is really interesting because it you know all of these tools ultimately are branches or have branched off of ChatGPT so the basis the foundation of the way that it works is like ChatGPT right but then in this case it's saying if GPT had a PhD, so if it had a PhD, if it had that mindset where it understood research papers or was able to give um, the correct understanding and breakdown of research findings and data and stats and scientific breakthroughs, if it had that understanding, then it could be this. <laughs> so uh, again, feel free, to, feel free to try it out, but I thought I would just highlight it if anyone's interested in something like this. Okay, so the next AI tool is called otter.ai and otter.ai is another kind of AI transcribing tool but it actually syncs with your calendar. So um, I've just signed up for it to show you how it works um, and show you the beginning stages and essentially it can um, record and summarize any either any meeting that you have, Zoom, Google Meets, whatever, or any meeting that you've specifically stated because it's syncing with your calendar, it does it automatically. So it's another way of automating um, this kind of thing. And then you want to send the meeting notes to everybody. So I've just said just me and, and just do it like this. 
And you can see an example here. So they've had a meeting and whilst the meeting has been going on, Otter has been present in the meeting as well. And it's got a summary of the meeting, action items, outline of the meeting, and that will be sent to all of the attendees of the meeting, including a transcript of the meeting as well. So I think this is amazing. It's also saying that there's like um, privacy, etc. cetera. Um, I'm not going to add any emails or anything right now. And yeah, this is what it looks like. So all you need to do is connect your Zoom and you can automate your meetings. And I think this is great, especially if you have, if you're someone that has a, a team, even if it's a very small team, just automating those conversations. Or even if you're someone that has like your supervisor, like this would have been amazing because all of those meetings that I would have had with my supervisor would have been summarized for me automatically with action items and sent to the both of us so we both know what the next steps are. So, and all the conversations are here. You can add other apps. It's just a lovely way of syncing everything up. Yeah, I really like this. I wish it was around when I was doing my PhD. <laughs> Last, but definitely not least, is perplexity.ai. And this is another one of the science research tools. And this is essentially a search engine, but for researchers. So here you can ask anything. Um, I don't know, let's just ask a question that they've given us. What is Apple intelligence? And it's given us sources for the information and I can get sources from different places. Um, this is a summarized answer. And then there are more questions that I can go on to as well. I can search for images, I can search for videos. I can even generate an image about this particular topic, but it works really well for research. Um, so I can say, what is the role of IQ gap I'm looking at this is again like this is a very niche specific topic so you can see that the sources are given and they're all research papers which is fantastic um can I search for images that'd be interesting if I can get some images oh okay so I've got lots of these kind of flowchart images which is fantastic um and then I have some answers so what are the answers for this question there are specific roles that IQ Gap 1 has in cell motility slash mobility which is amazing and then you've got more questions as well um, that I can go for, which is actually quite useful because I wouldn't have even thought about these signaling pathways to be related, but that already tells me that it is. Okay, I get one facilitates the map. Okay, so yeah, I think it's quite helpful, especially if you're in research and you want a quick understanding of, of um, research areas. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. Five, six new AI tools that I think you can find helpful from a range of different areas that can help you, especially within acad academia, but also you can use a lot of these things in your personal life too, or to help you content plan and things like that. So let me know if you found this useful and let me know if you have any other suggestions for AI tools and I will check them out for myself because I'm always trying to discover new ones as well. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. Okay, bye.